everybody and welcome back to another Montessori activity inspired video. I hope that this video will be helpful to you. Today we are going to be doing five really easy, simple activities that you can do with your two to three year old. I do have a two year old and a three year old and they both absolutely love these activities. And also if you see any of the activities on here that have any of these little cards, printouts, anything, I created these all myself and if you check the description box you can actually download download these for free to use in your own home. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any more awesome videos. Now let's go ahead and get started with some of these amazing and fun activities that you can do with your two to three year old at home in a Montessori style setting. This first activity is a sensory ABC box. Now you can actually do tons of different sensory box. You can use beans, rice, beads, pom-poms, water, really anything that has a sensory aspect to it. For this particular activity, I decided to use uncooked beans just because the texture was really cool and she really enjoyed them. And also this foam puzzle. So what she's doing is she's just digging around in the beans looking for the letters. When she pulls out a letter, she tells me what it is, what it says. She does know both the sounds and the letter names. Typically in Montessori, you would teach them the sounds of the letters first. However, just due to other educational resources, friends, cousins, TV shows, she's learned the name of the letters as well. So she's pulling them out, she's telling me the name, what this sound is, and then she's putting it back into the puzzle. And she's completed the whole thing perfectly and she loves this activity. The next one is really, really super simple. I just bought these thick straws off of Amazon and I cut them down into different sizes and she's going to use string and I just put electrical tape on the end of the string kind of as a little needle and she'll just thread these little beads on here. Now this is really good activity because they are different sizes so some of them the string goes the whole way through and she can just get it through without any issues at all and other ones they're just a little too long so she has to kind of come up with a way or think about a method to get the string the whole way through the bead and it can be a little complicating for some of these younger kids because that type of mental aspect isn't really there for them yet so it's really teaching them a lot of process and elimination and trial and error as you can see here she just couldn't quite figure out how to get it through this longer bead and so she learned how to work through and process through that so that she could get the string through the bead. Not only does this teach them a lot of different skills, you can also work on colors with this if you want. You can have them name the different types of the colors of the beads or really anything you want. You can also use macaroni noodles, actual beads. There are so many different types of resources you can use to perform this type of activity and children absolutely love it. They will be entertained for hours. This one is Madeline's all-time favorite activity. This is really, really good for students that are working with hand-eye coordination and just um, different types of hand motions, fine motor skills, all types of things. So you can download these cards for free if you check my description box. And all these are our clothespins that I colored to match the color on the paper. She'll open the clothespin and match it. So now she already knows her colors. We're kind of building and scaffolding off of something she already knows to learn a physical skill, which is opening and closing the clothespin. She doesn't realize that she's learning anything because it's just so much fun for her, but now she's learned how to open several different types of clothespins, and that's just a really good skill to have. I do wanna mention if you don't have clothespins or you're not able to get clothespins right now, or if your child is still learning colors or can't work with clothespins, I've also attached a color matching sheet with this download so your child can just match the pictures together instead of matching it with the clothespins. So that way it's a little bit differentiated. You can do one way or another or pick which one is best for your child's skill level. This activity makes my daughter the happiest when she sees it in our rotation. Next is simple math. These are little math flashcards that I've made with matching numbers. And you might not think it, but your two and three year old can do math. So here's how this works. You use pom poms, beads, you can use the counting bears, whatever you have. Have your child match the number to the number of 
accessories, pom-poms, whatever you're using, they will count these and then find the number that matches. Your child is going to have so much fun with this activity and they're learning how to do math. Is that not crazy? That's crazy. You can get your child doing math. Now, the cards that I have here are plus two. So numbers from 10 to one and we're adding two. She can do all of her ones without any issues, so I didn't really make the cards for that. If you want the cards, let me know, and I can go ahead and make them and upload them to the site. But these are the ones with addition by two, and she has mastered all of them. I do wanna to say, too, that after only about maybe three, four, five-ish days of using these cards, she now can actually do addition of any number at all as long as it adds up to 10 on her fingers. So she could do two plus eight or five plus five, any numbers that add up to 10, as long as she can count them on her fingers, she can do it. And it's because of this activity that we've created. So I really highly recommend it. This is, I think, my favorite activity that I've ever made. And honestly, she'll sit here for an hour and just do math. She loves it and hopefully your child will too. Leave me a comment down below how you feel about your two-year-old or three-year-old doing math. That's crazy. The next one is a kind of spring summer themed activity. So it's great for this time of year, especially since we're all stuck inside. You'll need an egg carton, some dirt, a spoon or a fork, a marker, some seed packets, and a small watering can, which I've actually used a Gatorade bottle and drilled holes in the top. It works really well. So this is a transferring activity to start with. You're going to have your child transfer the soil into the egg cartons. And I think you probably know where this activity is going, but because of the transfer activities and all of the learning processes involved, this is a really, really good and super easy Montessori activity that you can do at home with things that you just have laying around the house. As you can see, Madeline's doing really well with her transferring. So if you have a child that is really good at transferring, then this is a great project for them to do. Here she is planting the seeds. So she just poked her finger in, dug a little hole just like this, and she puts the seeds right into the hole and then she'll cover them up. When she's done, she's going to water them with this Gatorade bottle. It's really good if you can manage to do this. It kind of limits how much water they can get out so they can't really overwater their plants a whole lot, but you can do whatever you want. If you use a real watering can, go for it. And of course, with any Montessori activity at the end, we are going to clean up our mess and put everything away. All right, everybody, those are our activities for this Montessori video. I hope that this video has been helpful to you and has inspired you to help your child learn and grow through Montessori learning. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any type of activities that you would like me to show or demonstrate, please leave those down in the comment box and I would love to demonstrate anything that you have a question about or that you're interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great day. Happy learning, happy Montessori at home, and happy week. Bye guys.